Hi, Guitar Class. This is uh, Mr. Kimball here. Um, I'm going to be sending out these videos every so often, uh, trying to get you guys playing some of the music that uh, we were going to be getting to if we were still in school over the course of the, the next month or so. So uh, the first song we're going to be learning here, and, and we're not actually going to be worrying too much about the picking songs that we were doing, or we're just going to be kind of worrying about those chord songs. The, the first one is going to be Have You Ever Seen the Rain by CCR. Uh, you can probably go and find a bunch of really cool uh, YouTube tutorials and, and a bunch of people that can play guitar a whole lot better than me uh, that can, can help you out a little bit. But I'm going to show you kind of the, uh, the skeleton version of this and, and help you guys along. If you guys have any questions, just send them to me over live grades and I uh, look forward to hearing from you. Also, don't forget here, i got to look at my computer to figure out when we were going to have it, but we do have a guitar class Zoom session scheduled for let's see here uh we had our scheduled for friday at 1 p.m and tuesday at 1 p.m so if you guys want to participate in that um you wouldn't need to send in a video of you practicing then you could just send in your guitar class video Sorry, you could just join us for the Guitar Class Zoom conference, Friday 1 p.m., Tuesday 1 p.m. All you have to do is download Zoom, and uh, I will send you the link to join our meeting over LiveGrades. You click on the link, you're in the meeting, done, bring your guitar, we'll play along a little bit and have some fun. So, uh, Have You Ever Seen the Rain? It's a song by one of my favorite bands, Creedence Clearwater Revival. Uh, I'm going to go over the chords with you now. So, I'm going to try to adjust my computer here. There you, go. you should be able to see it. So, pretty much chords we already know until we get to the uh, the chorus. In that case, it kind of gets a little tricky. But what we have here is um, starting off with a C chord, and it's in the key of C. So we start off with our standard C chord, and then we uh, go C for quite a while. And we go over to G, and that's the uh, the entire verse C and G. The strum pattern is one, two, ready, and up, down, up, 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 up, down, up. Make sure you're feeling that beat. I'll try to tap my foot pretty loud. We're gonna go ready and up, down, up, up, down, up on the off beat, up, down, up. Up, down, up. We put that with the song. This is what we got. So we're going to hold before we get to the C. Up, down, up. 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 Stay right there. Switch. Really, it with the uh, first verse. Um, actually, for all the verses, you just have that C to G chord switch. It's pretty simple. Make sure you're really stressing on the offbeat. Uh, the and to and up down up otherwise we could get in some trouble um i know we kind of struggled with playing on the offbeat on some of our other songs uh throughout the semester so really work on that so then we get to the chorus which is is a lot trickier than what we just played now the the strum pattern is actually pretty simple but the chords are are pretty tough so i'm just going to show you the chords for today and then next time i see you guys and maybe a little bit in our zoom conference we'll actually work on putting it together but right now i'm just going to show you the chords in order and how we're going to switch them. So let me get my computer angled here. So there you go. So after we get out of the and we have the I want to know, we're going to go to F, which as you remember, it's going to be your index finger barring the first fret on the high uh, E string and B string. So we're barring that first fret. Then our middle finger 
is going to go down on the G string, second fret, Eddie 8, dynamite, good, second mm -hmm. fret. Then our ring finger is going to go down on the D string, Eddie 8, dynamite, third fret. And then we play that, but we don't play the top two strings. We don't play the E and the A string. We play all the rest of them, though, and it goes. And that chord's F. It's the first one in our chorus. So we go from F for four beats over to G. So once again, that's F, two, three, four, and G, two, three, four. And what I like to do just to give it some musical motion there is add an up strum on the last little part there. So I'm gonna go F, ready, and F, two, three, four, and G, two, three, four, and. So that's that. Back over here, I'm gonna go F, two, three, four, G, two, three, four. The next place we're gonna go is C. So add that to what we have. We have F, whoa, <laughs> F, two, three, four, G, two, three, four, C. So I want you to practice doing like what we do in class. We go slow switch, three, four, two, three, four, done. Then go a little bit faster. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. Then add the quarter note in. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. All right, so back to our chords here. We have F, G, C. I'm gonna show you guys two more chords. We go F, G, C. Then what we're gonna do next is go to a chord called C over B. And all you have to do, leave your index and your middle finger planted right there on the C chord. Bring your ring finger up one fret. So we're leaving on that string, the A string, just bringing it up one fret. Going from here to here. That's it. So we go C, C over B. C, C over B. So add that to what we have. We're going to go F, two, three, four, G, two, three, four, C, C over B. Now we're only on these for two beats. So it's going to go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, one, two. Then the next chord, and this is where we're going to stop for today, is about halfway through the chorus. The next chord is going to be an A minor chord, which is really, really easy to remember. All you have to do, right there is my C. Sorry, right there is my C over B. All I have to do is bring everything down one string. So we're here, I'm going to here. We're here, I'm going to here. The setup for it for the A minor, just to remind you guys, is the D string second fret with your ring finger, the G string second fret with your middle finger, and the uh, B string first fret with your index finger. And it sounds like that. So reviewing all over the chords here, we have F, two, three, four, then G, two, three, four, then C, then C over B, then A minor. And remember, C, C over B, and A minor have two beats in between. So we go one, two on F and four, G, two, and then two, C. One, two, one, two, one, two, three, four. Now add the quarter note whenever you're really comfortable with those chords, and we have pretty much the strum pattern. We go. And then just to kind of show you what it'll look like with the song, we have this. Can I kind of wait for the chorus there? Right now we'd be up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up. Here we go. F, two, three, four. G, two, three, four. C, B, A minor. All 
All right, everyone. So that is it for now. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. And if something didn't make sense, uh, it's kind of a kind of a pain in the half to try to get all this uh, camera and audio working together. So if something didn't make sense, just let me know and I will try to explain it to you. Also, please, please, please make sure to go on to the ultimate guitar tabs that we're using for this, uh, the chord chart that we're using rather, and follow along. That's really what's going to make sense out of all of this. So one last thing here, make sure when you get to the chorus uh, in the ultimate guitar uh, chord chart, they require an A minor over G chord. We are not actually playing that chord. We're just playing the A minor, which is why I'm staying there. So if you do end up working ahead a little bit, don't switch to an A minor over G. Just stick with that A minor the whole time, and it will make a lot more sense. All right, if you have any questions, let me know, and I will be here to answer. Thanks.